Defender's Quest is a fantasy-style tower defense game with a unique flavor and story all its own. Yes, that's right, a story. A really good story with characters, quest lines, and all those other things that 99% of tower defense games don't have. Even Kingdom Rush, the current king of the genre, couldn't be worse when it comes to narrative. Defender's Quest holds a wide array of interesting people with their own motivations, past histories, and other interesting details. The writing is funny, the setting is unique, and the story simply great for a game like this. But it's tower defense, so let's look at the nuts and bolts before we praise it too much. Is it well balanced? Yes. Does it have RPG elements like equipment and leveling up? Yes. Does it have a standing currency? Yes. Defender's Quest is just complicated enough to please the RPG-loving crowd and just easy enough for anybody to grasp it. There are six character classes, a level cap of 60, wildly varied skill trees, and an open recruitment feature so you can bring in more people to the harder levels. There's a lot of conveniences here, too. You can stop, speed up, or slow down time if you're having trouble or have the battle well in hand. Your main character can fire off spells, all of which are useful and interesting. The game's main flaw is unfortunately a rather big one. The enemy variety is pathetic. You'll see the same enemies reskinned like eight times per sprite, each indicating a different skill set, armor values, or terrain preferences like water. Given how much love went into this game, I was shocked at the complete lack of a thick bestiary to really make it shine. If anything makes a tower defense game other than its towers, it's whatever comes running up the road to kill you, right? Unfortunately, in this category, the game is an utter flop. Zombies and snails just don't really interest me, nor any number of differently colored versions. In the meantime, you've got boss battles, challenge modes, unlockables, perfectly doable achievements, and plenty of rather difficult secrets to unlock. Atop that, when you beat the game, you can enter New Game Plus mode. Not only do you get to keep all of your levels and equipment and stuff, but the game gets harder and unlocks a plethora of new levels, side missions, and even alternate endings. It's like watching a movie and then watching it again, but deciding which characters you want to follow around for the whole thing. More and more content gets revealed until you've played through the game at its highest level in the New Game Plus Plus form, in which all the levels and secrets to the narrative can be revealed. Personally, I would have rather played through it once, but I appreciate extra content when it's given to me. Think of it like Super Mario 3D Land. Once you've beaten everything and unlocked everything, only then does it give you more levels and things to enjoy. It's very clever like that. There's a little bit of grind factor since you need XP to be strong enough and gold to keep your equipment up to date, but other than that, this is a solid, solid tower defense game and I highly recommend it. With the release of its new HD edition out on Steam now, it's worth more than the purchase price. This developer really knew what they were doing in terms of story, gameplay conveniences, and unlockables. Lack of enemy variety aside, this is everything I could ever want in a tower defense game. Check it out.